Hello fellow Space Engineers, uh, today we're talking about how to insert your very own faction icon into Space Engineers. Whether you're new to modding or you make mods for modular encounter systems, this is a must watch video that will level up your Space Engineers game or your MES mod. So the very first thing that you must have is an icon. The icon must be 256 by 256 and 32-bit. This is so that it fits correctly into the faction's UI. The icon should also be in the PNG file format and have a transparent background. Now, creating an icon is outside the scope of this video, but there are plenty of places where you can get free icons made, and I'll link a few in the description below. The second thing that you need is a program that can read both PNG files and save them as DDS files. I recommend a free program called Image Magic. Link in the description. Now that we have those two things, we can get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is open Image Magic. And I already have it opened up right here. Now, once we have it open, we're going to click on File, Open, and we're going to navigate to where our icon's at. In my case, it's on my desktop. So I'm just going to open this up real quick, and voila, there it is. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to click File again, and click Save As. When the Save As window opens up, you need to check the Save As type and change it to All Files. And then, you need to select a file, or well, give your file a name. And when you do, make sure that you type in dot DDS. This will make sure that the file saves as a DDS document. Now I've already saved the file on my desktop so I'm not going to repeat this step. Once you've done that though, go ahead and close out Image Magic. Great! Now it's time to copy the file into your Space Engineers folders. On Windows, you're going to press the Windows key and R and in the run box you're just going to type in what you see right here percent app data percent forward slash space engineers all one word click OK and that's going to open up your space engineers folders double click mods now this is where things are going to get a little not complicated but there's a few steps we got to complete uh, to make this smoother so I'm gonna slow it down a little bit you know so I don't lose anybody and for those following along as I'm doing this you know you can have appropriate pause points. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a folder inside the mods folder called Factions Icon or whatever you want to name it. All right, make sure that there's no space between Factions and Icon or if you, you know, use two names, make sure there's no spaces. Once you've done that, double click on that and open it up. And we're going to create two more folders. One is the data folder, the other is the textures folder. And once you've done that, we're going to open the data folder. And inside the data folder, we're going to create another folder. That's right. And we're going to call this folder Factions. And then once we've done that, we're going to open that folder up. Now, inside this folder is a file called Faction Icon Textures, and it's an SBC file. Now, you could write this all out on your own if you wanted to, or you could do it the easy way. And the easy way is just to go into, you're going to go into this folder right here. Now, in my case, I have Steam on a, another drive, but you're going to navigate to wherever Steam is on your computer, open that folder, go into Steam Apps, then Common, Space Engineers, Content, Data, and then inside the data's folder, you're going to find a folder called Factions. You're going to open that folder, and you'll see that there's another file inside it called Faction Icon Textures. Now we're going to open this file. There's two ways to open this file. You can use Notepad, which is free, comes with every Windows computer. Or you can download another free program called Notepad++. I recommend Notepad++, but the decision is yours. Anyway, let's open this up. Now, now that we've got it opened up, 
what we're going to do here is we're going to delete everything from this line here. So we're just going to left click, highlight, and then drag the mouse down. And we're going to delete all the way down to the bottom. Well, almost. Mostly the bottom. We're just going to delete till we get to the end where it says uh, forward slash definition. Make sure you do not delete the very last line where it says definitions with an S. Once you've done that, just click the delete key and make it all go away. Now, I like things to be nice and neat and pretty. So I'm going to delete all that. And the next thing we're going to do is highlight and select this last line here. On Windows, Control C will copy that line. Once you have it copied, unhighlight it, leaving your cursor at the end, press enter to enter a new line, and then press Control V. And paste the new line. Now, we need to change the name. So you're going to change this name to whatever you named your faction icon. In my case, it's DSY. So that's what we're going to put there. And then we're going to save it. So this is what this faction icon should look like. Now, note, do not save this file to your Space Engineers folder. In fact, what you should do is copy it from Space Engineers and paste it to your desktop like I've done right here and then open it from your desktop. This way you don't mistakenly edit the wrong file. So we're going to close that and we are not saving the changes. This is what your final file should look like. Once you've done that, go ahead and close down Notepad or Notepad++, whatever your editor is. And we're going to go back into that Mods folder. Inside that uh, folder, it'll be blank, you know, the Data Factions folder. It'll be blank. And all you want to do is take and drag this to here. Right? And once you've done that, you're good to go. You're golden. Our next step is going to be go back to the Factions icon folder. So on Windows, you just click where it says Faction icons in the navigation bar at the top. And now we need to go to the Textures folder. So we're going to open that up and we're going to create a folder called Faction Logo. We're going to double click that and inside that folder, we're going to paste our faction logo in it and you can just drag it and drop it in there from the desktop once that's done you're all set it's time for the big reveal did it work well let's open up space engineers all right so now that we're into the game we need to go to our save game or create a new game whatever you're doing and we need to open up the mods folder so we're going to click on mods and right here at the top, you can see it says Faction Icons. This is our custom mod. We're going to select that, put it over here in the Active Mods, click OK, and click Start. No other mods. I'm not changing any settings. We're just putting in the uh, icon folder. We're going to pick a place to respawn. All right, now that we're in the actual game, right? Press K on the keyboard, open up the terminal, click the Factions tab and down here at the bottom left you're going to hit create once you hit create hit this little eyeball icon up here where you see the icon at and open it up and lo and behold looky right there there's my icon i can select it i can change the background color in my case i want it to be all black i can also adjust the color of the icon a little bit but since my icon is already in color and it's not a black and white type of deal. Um, it doesn't do me much good. I mean, I can make things much redder or whatever. But depending on how you created your icon, will determine whether or not you can change the icon colors and hues and saturation. But once you've selected it, click OK. And there it is right there. Fill out the rest of your 
information, click OK, and voila, you have your very own factions icon. More than that, if you're a modder for MES, you can create a factions folder for your NPC mod and put in textures and everything else uh, for that faction and have a custom faction icon in a custom folder for your custom mod. How cool is that? So now, all of your factions can have their own icons. And you don't have to use the icons from the game. I say that's a win-win. Now, not only have you learned how to bring in your own faction icon into Space Engineers, but you've also made, potentially, your very first mod. Congratulations and welcome to the world of modding. Speaking of mods, uh, you should check out these videos right here. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.